Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Creating with the Heart, and I'm back again with another card. The challenge for this card was not to use any neutral colors. So no white, brown, black, um, any other neutral colors. I can't think of any right now, but I couldn't use them. So anyway, I opted to use pink. So lots of shades of pink with little accents of red. And so let's go ahead and get started. My car base is going to be white, five and a half by four and a quarter, but I think that is fine. My actual card is not going to use any, any white. So my card stock on top is five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I'm using this paper and it measures four by five and a quarter. Now my paper is from the Fancy Pants Love Story. So it's really nice when you can use paper that looks Valentine's for other projects. So I'm always looking for ways that I can kind of utilize some of my, my specialty papers. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the main part of my card. Now I've been making a lot of cards. So I'm planning on having a very busy summer so and spring. So I'm trying to get a lot of things done. I'm going on vacation. My daughter is got a big dance recital coming up. My stepdaughter is graduating. So am I from college? And my baby girl, they have a little pre-K performance and ceremony for her. We're gonna have a birthday party for her. Two birthday parties. We're gonna have a family party. And a like a family barbecue because her birthday this year is on Memorial Day so it's going to be busy so I've been trying to make a lot of cards ahead of time so when you watch these videos if it's after the event that I'm talking about I apologize because like I said I, I'm kind of making a lot of things in advance so what I've done for my mat is I used the art philosophy I believe it's art philosophy and I used this rounded corner square and scallop. So my rounded square is three and a half, and then I cut the scallop at three and three quarters, and it just fits perfectly. So if you like a larger scallop, I recommend cutting it at four, and then you're going to get a little bit more scallop because it's just a tiny bit of scallop is showing through. So it just depends on your preference. I did use a little bit of black pen and white, so white to accent my scallops and black a little bit of doodling, but I think I fall within the guidelines because none of my paper is neutral. Everything is um, a different kind of color. And it just kind of needed a little something, so I did a little bit of doodling. Whenever I think it needs a little something, then a lot of times that's what I'll do. So I'm going to attach this. Let me go ahead and put this right here. Now the image that I'm using is cherries. And the cherry is from the Hello Kitty cartridge. Now you know the Hello Kitty cartridge has usually like a black shadow or outline around it. And I had cut it and then I remembered I wasn't supposed to use black. But good thing because the shadow for this, I don't know what I did. Or maybe this is just the way it looks. But this is how ginormous, I think this was like three and a half inches. But this is how ginormous it looks with the shadow. Which I think looks pretty awesome. But I'm not using it for my card because I can't use black. So keep that in mind and so that way you won't be shocked when you cut it out and go... Dude, it's huge. So it fits, but it's huge. So I'm saving that for another project because I'm sure I'll use it because I love my Hello Kitty cartridge. So I put it on um, foam to give it a little bit of lift. And then I've got my cherries. Now, my cherries I cut out in red, and normally you would have like a little white accent piece, you know, kind of like a little shadow or whatever. But because I'm not supposed to use white, I used a green, I think it's a Kaiser Craft rhinestone instead. So if you can 
see that. So that's what I used instead, and I, I kind of like how that looks. So let's see if I do that. And then here's another one. Okay, so there we go. Cherries. And for my sentiment, I am going to be using Cards TV. And this is, I don't even know what this one's called. Garden Greetings. This one's Garden Greetings. And I'm using Thank You Cherry Much is what I'm going to be using out of this one. So very simple. I just stamped it on the pink cardstock and then matted it on red scrap. I did stamp it in black, but I, I've been trying to stay away from at least using the neutral cardstock so I can kind of meet the challenge. So that's just going to fit right underneath there. And then just to top it off, I just have a little red button. And so there is my quick and simple card, same way from all the neutral colors. I think it'd be really great for um, a thank you card for Lily for her birthday. Anyway, thank you for watching today. This is Cindy with Crane with Art.